Hi guys, welcome back to part 6 of Is Chansan Alive? If you have not seen part 1 through 5, you can watch it using the link in the description and then come back here for part 6. In my last video, I explained how each person could have become a Hambi, but instead most of them became a zombie. In this video, I would like to go over the fight between Guinam and Chansan. The most common question I got was, if Chansan became a Hambi before the fight, then how come he lost to Guinam? Now let us continue from part 3. After Chansan lured the zombies up the construction site and they all fell down the elevator shaft, he rested for a minute and has a nosebleed. Down below, the group has just left. Green Nam came in, he smelled a happy, but instead of chasing the group, he went up to find Chonsan. Number one, it feels different. Now that we have more evidence about Chan San being a Hambi, let's watch this conversation over again and feel the difference. Greenham says that <laughs> because we know that he can't kill Chan San or at least try. Number two, equal footing. The first question you may have already asked is, if Chon San is a Hanbi, then how come he lost to Green Nam? Well, the answer is, because Chon San is a Hanbi, that's why he lost to Green Nam. Had Chon San been a human, then Chon San wouldn't lose. Instead, Chon San would have been dead. Because if we review all the encounters Chon San had with Green Nam when Green Nam became a Hanbi, the very first time they were trapped in the terrace, Green Nam appeared from the zombie showing off how cool he is. Chon San whacked Green Nam with a music stand, but Green Nam was not even phased at all. Whereas here, Chon San hit Green Nam with a brick and that already made Green Nam flinch. The second encounter was on the roof. It took three full grown people with Chan San to try and hold off Greenham. And Dae Su is very strong, but even he couldn't take on Greenham. But during the fight, Chan San could stand one on one with Greenham. And the third time, on the ledge of the construction site, Chan San punch doesn't even do anything to Greenham. But in the fight, we can see that Chon San does a lot of damage to Green Nam, even to the point where Green Nam was broken, as Green Nam has to regenerate while fighting. The only other person that can do this much damage to Green Nam would be Su Yo. However, Chon San still lost the fight. There are two possible reasons why Chon San lost the fight. Number one, Chon San is not a full Hammy. The virus may have made Chon San stronger, but has not completely taken over. The virus didn't take over Chon San's head yet, which is why Chon San got his eye poked out. Also, during the bombing, Chon San was not affected by the loud noise. Notice that Chon San got back on his feet. I don't think a regular human with the eyes poked out can stand up that easily. When Namda started to mutate the very first time, it took her quite a while to fully mutate. <laughs> Namda sat with Su Yok for a while, they confessed their love, and then they kissed, and finally, after a long while, Namda started to have super hearing ability. In other words, the infection does take time. Yeah. That means with Chon San, the virus has not reached his head, which would have given him super hearing. Even though Chon San got a nosebleed, it's simply implying that the virus is reaching his brain but not have completely taken over his head yet. That is why during the loud explosion, it did not affect Chon San, but it did with Green Nam. Chon San has not reached a full mutation. 
Number two, Chonsan is probably a different type of hammy. As mentioned by the director and then here with Bion Chan, the virus mutate and evolve, thus creating many different kind of hammy. I'm thinking Chonsan is the fast type of hammy. As we can see, he is very quick compared to Greenum, able to land multiple blows, but he doesn't have the same power as Greenum. And finally, I would like to leave you with this. This was spotted by some of my viewers. As mentioned before, the director only want one thing from the audience is that you watch All of Us Are Dead with your volume up and light off, which is something I don't think many of us will do. But for those of us that do, here in the last scene after the explosion and we see the ashes in the elevator shaft, when we go to episode 12, the last episode, as the camera is zooming away and if you had your volume up, you can hear this sound. This is the same sound every time when Green Nam regenerate. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. In my next video, I would like to tell you about Mrs. Park. Where is she? Or what is she? And how is she important to the story? Also, as you notice, I didn't mention about Chun Sung. I will also talk about him in the next part. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. See ya.